Hi guys, welcome to another Ned's Tool Talk video. In today's video we're going to be talking about cordless sanders. So there's many different types of cordless sanders. You can, you can get a palm sander for small intricate areas, smaller projects. You can get a belt sander that's for fast removal of rough material. It's not very for very fine stuff. Um, you can get a file sander, those narrow ones. Um, and I think that's a couple of types of the cordless sanders. Now, the most common cordless sander is an orbital sander. This one in particular is 125 mil pad orbital sander. And the one we're talking about is a Bosch Professional dual action orbital sander. Many say that this is the best orbital sander on the market at the moment. I do agree with them, but I am gonna make a video today and I'm gonna show you guys why do I think that. Now this sender runs on Bosch 18 volt um, batteries. The one I have on it at the moment is 4M Power Pro Core batteries. That's the new series of batteries. And these batteries are really amazing. The sender has, let me come a bit closer. So the sender is gonna have a dial right here. It's on six at the moment and it goes all the way down to speed one. Speed one minimum is 6,000 uh, RPM and maximum is 10,000 RPM, but that's no load speeds. As Soon as you put some load on it, of course, it, it dies down a little bit, but it's still plenty powerful. At the front of the center, there's a on off button and it's a very nice clicky button. Where the battery goes in, it's got a little bit like a shock absorber to it. So when you're sanding, it really, really um, absorbs those uh, shocks for the battery. So that's, that's a great thing. There's a couple of um, cooling vents and ports around. Under it, it, there you can see through the holes, there's like veins for dust extraction and stuff. Um, the bag with dust extractor is probably one of the most advanced bags I've seen. I've, I've had Milwaukee cordless uh, sanders, I had Ryobi cordless sanders, I still have some Ryobi sanders, um, but I've never seen that anything collects dust as good as this sander without using a vacuum on it. If you put a vacuum cleaner on it, there's literally no dust. Um, the bag itself is very, very good because on the sander itself, you've got these like grooves. It's not a thread, but it's just like grooves. So when you put a bag on it, it really locks it nicely in place. You don't need to take the whole bag off to empty it. It unscrews, just empty it, screw it back on and off you go. It's adjustable, so you can put it like that. You can put it down. I like to keep it down. Now, why do I say that this is that this is the best cordless sander on the market. Pure fact of, look how low to the surface that you're sending that is. We're talking about 100-ish mil more or less. All the other senders are, they don't have this back part where the battery goes, battery kind of slots, kind of slots like that. And um, you're holding the sander pretty much on this height, which is very far from the surface that you're sending. And it's very tiring on your wrist becomes annoying very quickly. Trust me, I've done it, I've tried it. When this one came out, I scooped it up and I absolutely loved it. Um, this sender at the time of the filming costs 270 Australian dollars. I paid it quite a few dollars less. I think I paid 230-ish, 240 when it came out. I have it for about two years now. But even for that money, it's still plenty of value in it. Other, brand, other main brand senders are much, much more than that. We're talking probably 100 bucks up. Um, Ryobi senders are 100 or so dollars, uh, inexpensive, but they're not nearly as good as this one is. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get some sanding pads out and I'm gonna attack this um, piece of wood so we can see how quickly uh, it works, how quickly it removes the material and so you can hear by the sound of it, does it die down or not? Uh, and what's the performance of it? So just quickly before we do anything, I am gonna put it in speed one and I'll, I'll start it. So that's very quiet. Speed, that's speed two. Speed three. Speed four, five, 
six, so that's on a maximum. That's very, very quiet. Also, this sander is brushless, of course. That goes without saying, but um, for all the modern tools, they're all brushless, but I thought I'd just mention it. Uh, and it's decently heavy, which means it probably is decently good quality as well, to be honest. Anyways, enough rambling, let's put some sandpaper on and let's see how good it performs. So right here, I've got a nice selection of sandpaper. So we've got 80 grit, 120, 240 and 320. Um, yeah, they're all new. Yeah, this one maybe just a little bit on the side. I used it once by hand, but let's start with 80 grit. So flip it upside down, drop it on. Okay, so I'm gonna start on number six on full tilt. There's no point um, trying to do anything less. Changing it up to 120. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand down this uh, middle of the board and then I'm gonna bring the camera nice and close so you can see the difference. And by the way, this is all in real time. There's no time lapse or speeding up the footage. to 240 and always guys make sure you're sanding with the grain of the wood sand opposite of the grain it's not gonna give you nice results and let's do up to 320 even though no one sends timber with 320 but let's do it So that's up to 320. Now, before I check out how nicely it did, look at this. The bag, everything is in there. I'm working in a black tracksuit and I've got my watch. There's absolutely no dust on me. I mean, that's, that's just amazing, see? There's plenty of dust in there and in the bag. See there? Just trying not to get the dust, dust on camera. Anyways, I'll show you guys how nicely this looks. All right guys, so this is the board that I was just sanding. You can see the middle, the nice and bright area that was sanded, the rest not. That's really rough. And then you go here, just nice and beautifully smooth. And then you can tell here where it's changing to the rough area yellowish one so yeah that's it and all that took probably around a minute or so with this absolutely rip off a sander well, guys another thing I absolutely love with this sander is if you got a Bosch vacuum got one of these Bosch vacuums it's just in the garage I use it for cars for sanding and everything I'll just put it down it's just a 18 volt Bosch vacuum 200-ish Australian dollars thereabouts um, so on a vacuum the end you squeeze these two red things you flick that off and you put this extension that comes with a vacuum in clicks in nicely take the dust bag of a sander 
and you just put this in and again because I've mentioned as I mentioned earlier because the sander itself on the body it's got those grooves and this attachment's got the same grooves so when it gets on it it really gets on it's not like just normal um, sanders with um, vacuum that rely on friction not to fall off no this thing really grabs and it's not moving anyway so I'll just pop a 320 back on and I'll show you when you put the sander so I'll put the vacuum on now you can really hear how it's sucking air through these um, holes here and look at this it sucks the vacuum to the board look that's how good this combo is let's try it now with with, um, with the vacuum on it tends to jump around a little bit it might be too much or too little i don't know but yeah absolutely zero dust absolutely zero dust best 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 thing ever and it's it's actually <laughs> hard to get it off yeah and i'll show you this attachment it comes with bosch vacuum see how it's got i don't know yeah it's got the grooves in there that's what grabs on the sand on the grooves itself yeah anyways guys so that was the bosch 18 volt sander the absolute best orbital sander that you can buy on the market right here right now in australia in europe america everywhere you can buy these things they are absolutely ripper of the sanders um, 270 australian dollars at the moment it's probably gonna go up like everything but yeah if you guys like the video like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye